I'm going to run out of time, but I'll show you this. And this was taken a while back. This this little guy here, this is my dad. And this is the little guy, Alex is our oldest son. Alex started at the University of Kentucky this fall as a freshman. So <laughs> it's been a while. And um, one of the things that we did on the farm that I grew up on every year was we grazed corn stubble. And uh, and that's something that's been forgotten about, but that was commonly done, and it's still still done in some some farms, where we turn beef cattle into that that cornfield, and they kind of go through and they glean those ears out and uh, eat some of the leaves and and husk and and stalks of that corn plant. And uh, so the question I always had is, could we graze standing corn like that in the field? And we did a study in the uh, 2000s at the research station of Blackstone looking at grazing standing corn. And this is actually March of 2000, and that's uh, the corn. And we had some, some lodging, but not terrible in the corn, more lodging in the sorghum sudan that we had in the study. And we looked at the yield, and the yield was pretty higher with the sorghum sudan, but it was a, a lot of stock and, and not real good in digestibility. And the animals would tend not to consume that as well. Standing corn had pretty good, um, pretty good yield in in pretty consistent yield even from from November to March. Where the corn excelled at was um, was the the total digestible nutrients, and we would meet the nutrient requirements in terms of energy uh, for growing calves um, with either our grazing corn or our conventional corn variety. Where it it fell apart at was on crude protein. So we would need to supplement crude protein if you were grazing standing dried corn. Uh, crude protein was low and uh, below the, the energy needs of uh, even a dry cow. So people will commonly supplement standing corn with a good alfalfa hay, and that's a pretty good combination for grazing standing corn. Uh, good energy, but low crude protein. And the alfalfa brings in the improved crude protein.